Hello, family and friends. This is Miss Tina, and I'm with the Clayton County Headquarters Library. Today, we are going to do another STEAM activity that's for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. I am so excited to be here today. We are going to use some props for shadows. So I have some rockets pre-made. I have my favorite teddy. And I have my favorite doggy puppet. And I have my flashlight and my desk light. We're going to use all of those today to make shadows. So, what we need to make shadows is what? Lights off! Alright, we're going to use a rocket now. I just colored a rocket, cut it out, and taped it to a stick. And so, we're going to show the shadow of the rocket when it's far away from the light. And look what happens when I start bringing it closer and closer and closer and closer to the light. It starts, the rocket starts to get bigger, but it also gets blurry. And look what happens when we start to move it back. As I start to move it back, you can start to really, really see the rocket's shadow more defined. Isn't that cool? Right, so you can, you can cut out things, mount them on sticks, or you can use some of your favorite toys. I have my stuff there, so I am going to put him up at, with his shadow. Hi, everybody. My shadow. Do you see my shadow? <gasps> oh, I start moving in. Look what happens. Look how big he gets. But he also gets blurry. Oh, I start to move him back. You can start to really, really see his shadow really, really well. So you can use your favorite stuffed toy. I also have a puppet, dog puppet, that I can use. Once again, far away. Hi, everyone. Bring him closer. I'm getting closer and closer, closer, closer to the light. Look how blurry he's getting. Let's move him back, 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 back. You can really see his shadow so well. You can use other objects. I happen to have a ball and a bat. Same thing. You can take any object that you have at home. You just need a blank wall, a light of some sort. It could be a lamp or a flashlight. And you can practice making shadows with any of the items you have at home. The other thing you can use is your hands and your arms, your body parts. So I'm gonna show you how to make some shadows using your hand. Let's make a dog. I'm going to make a dog. Ears, dog's mouth. Roof, 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 roof. Dog will move him out. <gasps> Becomes a big dog, but he also gets blurry. As I move him back in, he becomes more defined. And you can see that it's a dog. Let's make something else. It could be a butterfly, or it could be a bird. Whichever one you want to make. Now we'll make one using our hands, two fingers up, these three, these two touching the thumb. What is that? You're right, it's a bunny rabbit. Lights on! Oh, do you see how much fun you can have at home? You don't even need to go out and buy anything. Use all the things you have at home. You need a blank wall, some props, maybe a bear. Maybe a ball in a bat. Or you can make your own. Most of all, you have your hands that you can make things out of. And you need light. A lamp or a flashlight. Either or. Have 
have fun making shadows. Look forward to seeing you again.